Hello! So in this video today, I'm going to show you how to switch up your tap shoe taps into clogging taps. So I just purchased these block brand um, jazz style Oxford tap shoes. And I'm going to switch these taps with the clogging taps. And these are the Steven Stompers, the buck style. Now this is a medium size buck tap. So the clogging tap is the two part steel tap. So I'm going to put these on my shoes, switch them up. And these are the glue on style of clogging taps, which I prefer. So first up, we need to remove these taps from the shoes. So I have here a Phillips screwdriver and there's these taps are just screwed on. So I'm going to remove these screws. Okay, so those are three screws are out. Just going to pull the tap off. So that's the regular tap. All right, so the tap is removed. Now this little black thin piece here is called a soundboard or a shim that goes between the, the regular tap and the shoe. Okay, so now I'm going to remove the three screws from the toe tap. All right, all three of those are done. And slide that off as well. So what's great with this heel plate, the shim that they used, or this soundboard, is that the staple, there's only two staples in here, so that's great that they, because this tap will not cover the whole heel. That's where it will be glued on. So that will fit perfectly. The front tap will sit level with the toe there. However, in the back, it doesn't quite fit over the entire little shim or block soundboard here. So I will remove these staples that are showing just so that they won't come out later and scratch or do any damage to the floor or cause a problem with the taps. So I will remove those. And with the removal of these screws here, there is a little bit of an edge on them. So I will file those off as well. So it just kind of helps smooth it down. This is just a piece of thin plastic. So now it's nice and smooth. Now if you don't have one of these types of metal files, you could use a regular sand block file as well, or sandpaper from the dollar store. So now what I'm attempting to do is to remove these three staples along the bottom here. They're pretty tight on the plate, so I'm using this little tiny pointy thing to kind of get in underneath and lift it a bit, and then I'll be able to maybe pull it out with the needle nose pliers. Like I said, they're very tight in here, and just be very careful that you don't stab yourself, so keep your hands back out of the way. Once they're started, it's better, but just to get in the first little bit. And I have this towel down on the counter just so the shoe doesn't slip or, you know, and it provides some protection to the, the actual front of the shoe. So it's not going to be damaged while I'm working on the bottom here. I'm 
kind of get a grip of it and then just kind of leverage it out of there. So this staple kind of broke off a little bit so I'm just trying to pull out as much as I can before I file it down the rest of the way. Okay, so now these hands brought in some extra strength here to help with digging out that last staple. This is nice and smooth and it's ready for my buck tap to go on so I can get that these glued on. So first I'll take these other ones off and then I'll be ready to start the glue on process. I'll remove the screws from the second shoe. Come on, done. Okay, those are the three screws again for the heel, and then the heel tap comes off. So, again, I'll just lightly file the screw holes down so they're nice and smooth. Move the tap from the toe. tap is off. So again there's three staples along this black sound card or this shim so I'll need to get in there and get those out. All right, so I had to get my husband to help me with some of the staples because they're so deep and very tight in there. So I didn't quite have the strength to pull that out, but got the last one out for me. And it still is a little bit rough, so just gonna sand a little bit, file these down a little bit more, these, the holes and the edges from where the screws and the staples were. Great. So now they're nice and smooth, ready to go. So again, the top will, toe tap will go on there, and the heel tap here. All right, so now we're ready to shoe goop them on.